Hey everyone, welcome back to a quick tech overview. Today we're going to be going over the tool Crunchbase. What this is, is it's a prospecting tool that helps you find new leads and contacts. So what I'm going to be doing with you today is just going through a couple of searches and how to actually search out these companies. Now with this said, this is a free program, but in order to get access to all the cool tools that they have, you do need to have their um, pro source. Uh, you need to sign up for the pro. I have not, so therefore I'm going to be showing you what you can do with just the free program that they offer. So first we come to your page after you've created an account, which just requires your name, email, and password. And it allows us to have these options of what kind of company we want to look up. Let's start out with location. I want to find a company that is in the United States. Then I want to work for a smaller company, let's say. So I'm going to look for something that's between 51 and 100. Now, that eliminates the other categories, and it asks us to now search. We can put in the search. And here we go. Here's some options. Now, there are a ton of options, but they only allow us to have a few at the top with the free program that we have at the moment. I've already looked through some of these, and they're actually pretty interesting. One that really excites me is this one, Patreon. So what this company is, is it's a platform that enables fans and sponsors to give ongoing support to artists and creators. Now, the information here is extensive. It shows you what category the company is in, where their headquarters are, the founders, the dates, act, it's active, um, all these different informations, how many employees they have. Then it gives you the website, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, contact email. I mean, you can get a hold of the founder right here, or you can call them. Plus, it gives a description at the bottom. Now, what all this information does for me as someone who's looking for a job is it allows me to see, okay, is this a company I would be interested in working for and all the different categories and information I need to know in order to contact them and sound intelligent about their company. If you are looking as a business and you want to sell a product, let's say that you are um, someone who would want to invest in an artist or a creator. This information allows you to know that this is a company that you could work through. So what I want to do now is take you through how to do another search since this one produced such a outstanding outcome. So we're going to go back here and like I said, the you can look at these other companies as well. It pulls up their information. Like this one is a um, company that produces foods without any meat products in it. And if that's something that you're passionate about, then obviously that would be a company you could work for or help. Now, right here, these are the filters that we just used to look up this particular, these companies. We have the United States and how large their employee base is. What I want to do is look up another set of companies and so I'm going to start creating some filters. Let's go to company type, okay? So we're going to come down here and let's say that I really want to work for a nonprofit. I like the idea of just serving people completely and wholeheartedly and that's what I want to do. So I'm going to look up nonprofit and again, let's say that I want to work for a really small team. And so I'm going to come over to number of employees and select 51 to 100. You know, a decent sized company, but not, not too big. And I'm going to search that. Now, one option that comes up, and like I said, I've looked through these already, that is interesting is this Open AI. And what it is, is it's a company that is building artificial intelligence and trying to improve that in a safe way. Super exciting if you enjoy that kind of work. Again, if you are looking for a job, you have all the information here to see if this is a company that you would want to work for. If you are a business company, if you are already a foundation and you want to sell your product or service, then you have the information here and the ability to do so. And all of these different companies, like clean the ocean. Um, 
the ocean cleanup. This one was really cool too because it, you know, they're trying to re um, preserve the earth and a great inspiring um, mission that they have. So by just having these two filters, I was able to find quite a few different companies that I could consider working for or assisting. The last thing I want to do is show you one more section of filters that you can use. So we went through the category, um, the company type, whether it's profit or nonprofit, and how many employees there are. Let's get some other filters that we haven't used thus far. So how about um, category? Let's go down to the categories. Okay, so this is getting really specific. What kind of company you want to work for? What do they do? Uh, let's say that I really wanted to do healthcare. And on top of that, I still want to work for a nonprofit. So we come down to the company type and we select nonprofit. Now I want to get really specific though. I want to know exactly where they're at because I want to work in a specific area. So the headquarters location we're going to put down as California because who doesn't want to live in California, right? Super sunny and nice. Now I could add on another one and if I were I would probably put how many employees there are but um, without having the pro version you can only have three filters. So we're just going to go ahead and search as is. And right here we have a list of healthcare companies that are nonprofit and are in California. This is great for if you're searching for a job and you want to live in a specific place or for a specific company. Also, it's really great if you're a company that works with healthcare um, businesses that are nonprofit and you work in the California area. Uh, an example of this is this message care. I looked this up and their mission is super exciting and just something that I could get behind and be passionate about. All of these were really great and by having these filters I was able to specifically look for what I needed and what I can provide. So that is a summary of Crunchbase, um, how to work it, how to add filters, and how to look for outstanding companies to work for or work with. As always, I hope that this was extremely beneficial, and if you have any tips or tricks on how I can use my tech tools, I'd love to hear your comments below. You guys keep being awesome.